Welcome to the Knackel News Network. The Knackel News Network is brought to you by the Knackel Group, Cushman and Wakefield's number one investment sales team in New York City. Hi, I'm John Hageman, sales team manager for the Knackel Group at Cushman and Wakefield. Welcome to the Knackel News Network. Today, I'm here with Bob Knackel, chairman of New York Investment Sales for Cushman & Wakefield. Bob, so the third quarter data is finally in. Tell us what it's looking like across the city. City has performed great in the investment sales market, Hags, in the third quarter. We had 1,300 properties trade hands in the third quarter of this year, uh, and over $18 billion, I think $18.2 billion in dollar volume. So the third quarter was fantastic. So that's the third quarter alone. How does that stack up for the year so far? If we look at the numbers, we see we're on pace for about 5,181 sales this year. That would be down 6% from the 5,533 that we had last year. And that actually is performing better than we had anticipated. We expected the number of properties sold to be down about 10 to 15%. But still, if we look at the pace that we're on, if we stay on the pace through the fourth quarter, that almost 5,200 properties sold would have been an all-time record if we didn't have the tremendous year that we had in 2014 with those 5,500 sales. So that's number of properties sold, but as we all know, everyone wants to talk about dollar volume. So tell us what those numbers are looking like. Hags, the dollar volume is off the charts. Uh, through the first three quarters of this year, uh, we've had about $56 billion of investment sales activity. That's just $2 billion shy of last year's entire total. And if we stay on the pace for that $75 billion, that'll be up about 29% from the $58 billion total we had last year. So the market is really doing extremely well. Those are the numbers citywide, Bob. Let's start to focus on some of the submarkets. Let's start with Manhattan, for instance. If we look at those numbers, we see that uh, we've had about 42.7 billion in sales so far this year, exceeding the 42.1 billion that we had in all of last year. Uh, the market this year is on pace for almost 57 billion in sales, which would be an increase of more than 35% above last year's total. Bob, if we hit that $57 billion, would that be an all-time record for Manhattan? Again, that would set an all-time record. We go back to 2007 again, uh, we had $52.4 billion, uh, so we would exceed that total uh, by about 9%. So that dollar volume, how about the number of properties sold in Manhattan? Number of properties sold is up about 5% this year from last. If we annualize what's happened through the first three quarters, we're operating at a pace that will be at about uh, 1,069 properties sold for the year. And that is, that's about 5% above where we were last year. So we've talked about total dollar volume. We've talked about total number of properties sold. How is this affecting value? Property values are something that we're looking into a little closer. It appears that the third quarter may have seen a plateau in values. Uh, price per square foot may be relatively flat, and we've seen in some submarkets maybe a little upward pressure on cap rates. But we're looking into that a little further. Uh, you really can't take one quarter and have that establish a trend from a value perspective. So we're looking into the basket of properties that sold and see if there's anything that may have uh, skewed those numbers. In summary, through the first three quarters of 2015, the investment sales market is performing as expected. The number of properties sold is on pace to be down about 6%, but the real story is the dollar volume, which is on pace for an all-time record. We expect there to be about $75 billion in sale transaction volume this year, which would be 29% above last year's total and would set an all-time record by over 20%. Thank you for joining us today. Tune in next week for another episode of the Knackle News Network.